people don't understand how how tough of a job a police officer has. You know, in my community, a police officer has a tough job to come outside of his area and or his or her area and police another area. That in itself is big. That's big to come from your comfort zone into a battle zone. Because if you think about it, that's what it is. It, it, you can't you can camouflage it any other way. So when they come out of their comfort zone and to police, or not even I want I don't even want to use the word police. When they come out of their comfort zone to provide assistance, a service, you know, to a community that is not there. Especially to a community that doesn't really care about itself. That's a big problem. You know, the community that they police does not care about itself. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Denaro. Thank you, Denaro. Uh, let me let me let me give officers a, a, a chance to respond to that because um, you know we hear a, we, we we hear about this a lot. We hear about officers not being from the communities that they work in, and we have a lot of young black males participate in game changer events, saying that perhaps we should only have black officers come and patrol our neighborhoods, and. I've told them that I can understand how they might think that that might be a good idea, but that causes some other problems. Anytime that we're segregating ourselves from one another, it's going to cause problems as it relates to familiarity, how we communicate. I don't know you. Uh, we tend to fear things that we're unfamiliar with. So that doesn't, that wouldn't, that might solve one problem, but it might cause several others. So I want to give members of law enforcement an opportunity to talk about what Denaro said, what is it like to not be from the neighborhood that you spend most of your time in working? Um, perhaps the first time you were sent there, you didn't, you didn't know about the culture. You didn't know you didn't you didn't know, know anything about the people. So I want to give members of law enforcement an opportunity to share if you if you've had that experience, what that's like, because you brought up a great idea. I'm sorry, he brought up a great point. And I want to thank Dinero um, because for me as a police officer, it's very comforting that Dinero can place himself in my shoes and go, man, that's got to be a difficult thing to do. And I really appreciate that because then I think he's recognizing my humanity and that means the world to me and that it helps me. It actually is kind of therapeutic for me. And I hope it is for the other officers on here to hear that from a man that lives in and around that community. Um, I think anybody can learn to love anyone whether they come from the community or not if they're just willing to listen to their story if they're just willing to take the time to maintain the you know their emotional triggers and just operate with a little bit of compassion and confidence and it may not happen the first time it may not happen the second time that you know you break through or people are willing to talk to you and listen to you but you got to be persistent and as public servants i think we owe that to the community to bernard's point He's absolutely right. Um, our job can't be done unless everybody takes ownership of their community as well. But as police officers, myself with 20 years, I also have to navigate in a way that is more inviting. Doesn't mean that I'm a shrinking violet when it comes to holding people accountable when there's lawlessness, but there's a manner and an approach in the way that I need to carry myself. And a lot of times, and you've heard me say this before, Sean, a lot of times, kindness uh, can go a long way. And, uh, and so it doesn't matter that I don't come from the community. I was in Newton division 20 years ago as a young police officer. and I didn't grow up in that, in that area, nor did I grow up in the Pueblos, but it's the manner in which officers like myself and Bernard and others, we operate with empathy and heart. Um, that'll help us to learn better, but that is, it is a difficult job for us as De Niro um, pointed, and, and that's tough sometimes, but nonetheless, it's, to me, it, it was no thing because I always went in with an open mind and an open heart, even as a young officer. And what makes me so happy and what I see promise in our department is the leadership through the LAPD, the direction in which we're going. You're seeing us say that it's okay to navigate through your career with heart. I will repeat, we still have to hold people accountable, but it's the manner in which we do it. But again, to Bernard's point, we all got to take ownership of this thing out there.